whispers and the antique mirror. Ashanti und us though. The estate sale was a labyrinth of forgotten treasures, a mishmash of the past laid bare for eager buyers. Among the dusty books, vintage furniture and faded photographs, Eleanor, a middle-aged woman with an eye for antiquities, found herself drawn to an ornate full-length mirror tucked away in a dimly lit corner. The mirror stood regal and imposing, its frame intricately carved with winding vines and mysterious symbols. Eleanor ran her fingers along the cool surface, feeling an unexpected shiver down her spine. She couldn't resist the allure of the antique and decided to make it her own, bargaining with the estate sale organiser to secure a deal. As the mirror found its new home in Eleanor's modest living room, it brought with it an air of both elegance and mystery. The room, once adorned with modern simplicity, now bore the weight of the mirror's ancient presence. It reflected not just images, but seemed to hold echoes of the past, and in the quiet of the evening, Eleanor sat in front of the mirror, studying her reflection. Yet, as her gaze lingered, she noticed subtle movements within the glass, shadows that danced on the periphery of her awareness. It was as though the mirror held secrets waiting to be unveiled. One night, as the moon cast a soft glow through the curtains, Eleanor caught a glimpse of movement in the mirror. Whispers, barely audible, echoed in the room. She strained to decipher the hushed voices, but they eluded her understanding, leaving only a sense of unease in their wake. Determined to unravel the mystery, Eleanor delved into the mirror's history. She discovered that it had once belonged to the Hartfield estate, a grand mansion with a dark past. Rumours spoke of tragedy, unrequited love, and a family torn apart by secrets. The more Eleanor explored, the more she felt the mirror's pull. It became an obsession, an unrelenting desire to uncover the truth concealed within its depths. One evening, guided by an inexplicable force, she whispered a question to the mirror. Who are you and what secrets do you hold and air? Dundee, the room fell silent as the whispers intensified, coalescing into discernible voices. The tales of the Hartfield family unfolded, each revelation more chilling than the last. The patriarch, Victor Hartfield, a wealthy and ambitious man, had commissioned the mirror to be crafted by a mysterious artisan. Its purpose was to reveal the true nature of those who gazed into it, exposing the darkest corners of their souls. Eleanor learned of Amelia, the eldest daughter, whose reflection had betrayed a forbidden love that led to tragedy. The mirror had witnessed the clandestine meetings and the heartbreak that followed. As Eleanor listened, she could almost feel the weight of Amelia's sorrow resonating through the glass. The middle son Theodore, driven by an insatiable thirst for power, had succumbed to the mirror's revelations. It exposed his treacherous schemes, leading to his exile from the family and a descent into madness. The youngest, Cecilia, had borne the burden of the mirror's revelations most grievously. It had exposed her deepest fears and insecurities, pushing her to the brink of despair. The mirror had become a malevolent force amplifying the darkness within. As Eleanor immersed herself in the tales of the Hartfield family, the mirror's influence over her reality intensified. Shadows danced more vividly and the whispers grew louder. It was as though the mirror sought to draw her into the tragic narrative, making her a participant in the long-forgotten drama. Haunted by the spirits of the past, Eleanor struggled to maintain a grip on reality. The line between the present and the echoes of the Hartfield legacy blurred, and she found herself entangled in a web of secrets and lies. One night, unable to resist the mirror's pull any longer, Eleanor reached out and touched the glass. The room around her dissolved into a haunting dreamscape, a manifestation of the Hartfield mansion in its prime. The echoes of laughter and the distant strains of a piano filled the air. Eleanor, now a spectral observer in the past, moved through the grand halls of the estate. She witnessed the family's joy and despair, their triumphs and tragedies. The mirror, an omniscient witness, captured every nuance of their lives. Amelia's tearful encounters in the moonlit garden, Theodore's clandestine meetings with shadowy figures, and Cecilia's anguished soliloquies echoed through the corridors of time. Eleanor experienced the emotions, the love and the heartbreak as though she were living alongside the Hartfields. As the narrative unfolded, Elena realized that the mirror had trapped her in the tapestry of the Hartfield family's history. It sought to add her story to its collection, 
a never-ending loop of souls entwined with the secrets it held. Determined to break free, Eleanor sought a way to sever the mirror's hold. She wandered through the spectral mansion, searching for clues that might unlock the mystery of the mirror's power. In the dimly lit library, she discovered a dusty tome, an ancient grimoire detailing the occult practices that Victor Hartfield had employed to bind the mirror to the family's fate. The mirror, enchanted with dark magic, had become a conduit for the supernatural, a portal through which the echoes of the past could reach into the present. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Eleanor faced the mirror once more. As she recited an incantation she found in the grimoire, the room trembled with a surge of energy. The mirror resisted, its surface contorting and pulsating with an otherworldly glow. In a crescendo of whispers and shadows, the mirror relinquished its hold on Eleanor. The dreamscape faded, and she found herself back in her living room, the mirror restored to its silent, reflective state. The whispers ceased and the shadows retreated. Eleanor, though physically exhausted, felt a profound sense of liberation. The mirror, once a vessel of torment, now stood as a silent relic, its secrets bound by the incantation Eleanor had uttered. As she gazed into the mirror she saw only her own reflection, a tired yet resilient woman who had faced the echoes of the past and emerged unscathed. The room, once suffused with the weight of history, now felt serene and ordinary, and Eleanor decided to seal the mirror away, hidden from prying eyes and unsuspecting souls. The tales of the Hartfield family, though tragic, would remain confined within the enchanted glass. Eleanor, having confronted the mirror's dark secrets, chose to move forward, leaving the echoes of the past behind. The antique mirror, now relegated to the confines of a storage room, held its secrets in silence. The whispers were silenced, the shadows stilled. Eleanor, forever changed by her journey through time, embraced the present and the promise of a future free from the haunting echoes of the past.